Hey yo, I'm Rat. Now, are you ready for an adventure? Well, buckle up, because we're taking a 4x4 tour along the edge of a majestic waterfall. We'll also meet the Narlas, your majestic companions to start this journey. Be amazed by their beauty and grace as we explore their natural habitat. Join me on this adventure in Planet Zoo. Now before we get stuck into the habitat build, let's break down the plan for today. The map that I'm working on is the Mexican Conservation Park scenario. If you've played this scenario before, you will know the area that we're building on is behind the pre-built conservation park. We have the main zoo down here. We're planning on building a village based on Africa up here. But I don't just want a boring path connection for guests to walk on. I want them to need to get on a ride to come up here. So the first way we'll do this is by a 4x4 adventure tour, going through today's habitat build and onto the village. While building, I'm also wanting to plan out a boat ride tour that will leave from the front of our path and arrive in our village. So a closer look at where the 4x4 tour will pass through. This area will be a large enclosure for the Nalas. I'll be going with oversized habitats for this build as I'd like as many natural encounters for the guests. Plus, I want the animals to have plenty of space to escape if stressed. Our 4x4 track will go through the middle of this habitat. Now I want this area to look as natural as possible. That means having a hidden shelter and completely removing the backstage staff areas from the view of the 4x4. Now the main feature of this space will be a waterfall at the front of the habitat. This will give our boat to us something visual to go past, as we'll likely not go through any of the habitats. So having a lot of beautiful things to look at will be vital to get people to ride it. Looking into the Nala. They're known for their beautiful spiral horns and their graceful movements. Their biomes are grassland and tropical areas of Africa. They are also extremely reliant on water. They always live close to a water source. So in Zimbabwe, Africa, there is a waterfall called Victoria Falls. There's a really wide waterfall, which is similar to the space that I'm looking to fill in this habitat. Also, a tropical wetland isn't something that you think of when I think of Africa. So I think this will be an interesting way to start our tour. We also have to remember that we're traveling from a Mexican desert into an African desert. So I think that traveling through some lush green wetlands will also help our guests understand that this isn't the same desert. All right, let's get into today's build. So I guess something to point out is that there's no real requirement to build a 4x4 tour. And you also don't need this many African desert animals to win this scenario. What you actually need is colder climate animals, and it's all about if global warming continues, these are the animals that are going to go at risk of being extinct. But I also see the value on the opposite side of the scale, where the desert areas continue to get hotter, we will also risk losing life here as well. I wanted to build something like this, I guess taking inspo from Disney's Animal Kingdom, Kind of combining the ideas of the Kilimanjaro Safari and the conservation station, where guests have to take a ride to get to another part of the park. And also just heavy, heavy theming to transport and entertain and ed educate the guests. This will also be a test of the game mechanics. I tried to look up if it's possible to do this kind of build with no path connections, but I haven't come across anything yet. I'm not sure if the guests will lose happiness not being able to get to or leave this area by foot. I want to try to educate the guests along the 4x4 using speakers. Again, I haven't found anything specific on that. Like I said before, I think it's very important to control the narrative of the ride so that guests believe that we're traveling to Africa. Just simply going from desert to desert won't be as strong as getting onto a ride, traveling through different lands and biomes, and then experiencing animals in different ways than they will in the rest of the zoo, and then finally disembarking the ride in a theme location.
Oh yeah, this is the part where I thought that I was doing a really good job with the waterfall, but it turns out no. I had built everything meters away from the edge, so I deleted and I started again. Something I did learn in this build is it's easier to build a small section of a larger project than copy pasting it across to fill the rest of the area. I think it's a lot more difficult to build everything from scratch. Do it well once, then all you need to do is do small tweaks in the sections that need it. Now, all of the previous habitats that I've built had problems with stressful inalates. They don't really like to see people or have any crowding around them. I've either had to use two-way mirrors or build their habitats in a non-interesting part of the zoo just so that guests won't crowd. With the 4x4, I'm hoping that controlling the guests to a small amount will reduce the stress levels, but also highlight the animals and give the guests some great chances to see them doing their thing. The start of our 4x4 tour, we'll be travelling through a lush jungle, weaving and winding around trees to get out to the village. But your path has been blocked by a fallen tree, so you must take the long way, via the rickety old bridge up and over the waterfall. Now no one has taken this bridge for a long time, and your driver isn't sure if it's safe anymore. But if you're lucky and quiet enough, the secretive Nalas have made this area their home. Well, at least that's what the legend says. still need to name this river and the waterfalls. I'll also need to create some dams around this area to justify why we've got so much water in the middle of the desert, but that's a problem for later. just a couple more touches of details, I think it's time to dive into our live footage of this habitat, captured by our documentarian, David Rattenberg.
I hope you've enjoyed watching me create the first habitat along our journey. If you have any tips or what else to add to make this habitat better, let me know down in the comments. I already see some things that I need to fix. Join me in the next video where I'll be building a hippo and a flamingo habitat. Continuing along with the 4x4 and the boat tour, we also need to start planning for elephants, the village, and a close-up giraffe encounter. Aye aye, there's still lots to do. Thanks again for watching. Bye!